Fire support vehicles are armored fighting vehicles engineered specifically for direct fire support or fitted as standard with armament designed primarily for infantry support. They provide direct fire against hostile armored vehicles, buildings, and field fortifications. With some degree of success, fire support vehicles can engage main battle tanks and that's why sometimes these military machines are called tank destroyers. The main advantages of fire support vehicle over tanks are significantly lower production and operational cost, also higher level of strategic and tactical mobility. So these can respond rapidly to various threats. In this video, we will select the 10 best fire supporting vehicles according to firepower, protection, mobility, and some other factors. At number 10 is PTL-02. It is also known as Type O2 support vehicle belonging to the Chinese military force. The vehicle has a welded steel armor hull and it provides all-round protection from 12.7mm machine gun fire. It is also fitted with an NBC protection system and automatic fire suppression equipment. The PTL-02 is armed with a 100mm high-pressure smoothbore gun developed from the Type 86 towed anti-tank gun. The vehicle carries 30 rounds for the main gun and this gun can engage lightly armored vehicles, however, it is not that effective against modern main battle tanks. Fire control and observation systems of the PTL-02 were developed from the Type 88 main battle tank and are rather simple. The secondary armament consists of coaxial 7.62mm machine gun and 12.7mm anti-aircraft machine gun mounted on top of commander's cupola. At number 9 is WMA-301. Again on the list is the Chinese modified version of the PTL-02. The WMA-301 can be identified by a wedge-shaped turret. It is in service with Cameroon, Chad, Djibouti, Myanmar, Senegal and possibly some other countries. The main difference between them is that WMA-301 uses a 105mm rifled gun in place of a smoothbore. Another difference is that the WMA-301 is heavier than its predecessors and it can also launch a 105mm anti-tank guided missile in the same manner as ordinary munitions. These extend the effective range of up to 5 kilometers. Up next at number 8 is the AMX-10RCR. The AMX has been a French reconnaissance and fire support vehicle since 1979. Its main role is to escort convoys, patrol and perform territorial defense tasks. The AMX-10 RCR can engage armored vehicles, buildings, field fortifications and other targets. However, this vehicle is not normally used to engage tanks even though it can penetrate front armor of the older tanks such as the T-55 and T-62, modern main battle tanks would be a tough nut for this vehicle. The vehicle is armed with a GIAT F2 105mm rifled gun and the effective fire is over 2000 meters. A total of 38 rounds are carried for the gun. The AMX-10 RCR has two 7.62mm machine guns and one of them is mounted coaxially with the main gun with the other mounted on top of the roof. The hull and turret are welded elded aluminium armor construction and upgraded vehicles were fitted with add-on armor kit for a higher level of protection. The vehicle withstands hits from medium caliber weapons and artillery shell splinters. At number 7 is M1128 Striker MGS. It is an American 10 variant series wheeled armored vehicle designed for low intensity combats. The M1128 mobile gun system is fitted with the General Dynamics land systems. The mobile gun system fires high explosive, anti tank, and canister rounds. Only 18 rounds for the main gun are carried by the vehicle. This fire support vehicle is armed with the M68A1E4 105mm rifle tank gun and it is a modified version of the tank gun used on the M1 Abrams and M60 series main battle tanks. Secondary armament consists of 12.7mm and 7.62mm machine guns. The armor of the mobile gun system protects against small firearms and artillery shell splinters. The vehicle can be fitted with add-on composite armor which provides protection against 14.5mm projectiles and add-on slat armor which protects against RPG rockets. The MGS is fitted with NBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems. At number 6 is ZTL-09. 
The ZTL-09 is a fully amphibious machine, sometimes referred to as the PTL-09, and it is in service with the People's Liberation Army since 2009. The turret of this fire support vehicle resembles that of the ZBD-2000 amphibious light tank, and the ZTL-09 is armed with a 105mm gun. This gun is loaded manually and it has an effective range of over 2,000 meters against armored targets. It is speculated that the HEAT round penetrates between 460 to 500 mm steel armor. The vehicle also fires APF SDS HE rounds. The ZTL-09 is also compatible with anti-tank guided missiles and these laser-guided missiles are launched in the same manner as ordinary projectiles. The missiles have a firing range of 5 km and the hit probability against static targets is 90%. The missiles can also target low-flying helicopters. Defensive armament consists of coaxial 7.62mm machine gun and roof-mounted 12.7mm machine gun. At number 5 is Pandur 2. The Austrian Pandur 2 is armed with a 105mm gun. The CMI Defense CTCV 105mm weapon system has a two-man turret and low-recoil fully stabilized 105mm L53 gun. It is also compatible with smart ammunition and is able to fire guided missiles that are launched in the same manner as ordinary projectiles. The gun is equipped with an automatic loader and this feature allows to adopt vehicle to mountainous warfare. The vehicle has got a modern fire control system with hunter-killer engagement capability. There is a single coaxial 7.62mm machine gun and protection of this fire support is rather limited. All-round protection is against 7.62mm armor-piercing rounds and artillery shell shrapnel. Optional add-on armor provides protection against 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds and spall liners, improved mine protection, NBC protection system, and automatic fire suppression system were all offered as options, so this vehicle is extremely vulnerable. Up next at number 4 is Centauro. The Centauro B1 was the truly successful FSV. At the time of its introduction, it was officially referred to as a tank destroyer and had the firepower comparable to that of the Leopard 1 main battle tank. The Centauro is armed with a fully stabilized 105mm high-velocity rifled gun. It is compatible with all standard NATO 105mm ammunition and it has an effective range of 3000 meters. The gun is loaded manually and a total of 40 rounds for the main gun are carried inside the vehicle. It has got a hunter-killer engagement capability and this tank destroyer can engage a target 25 to 35 seconds after spotting it. Secondary armament consists of 7.62mm machine guns and this tank destroyer has a welded hull and turret. In standard configuration, front arc of the Centauro is protected against 20mm rounds, up to 3 tons of, of add-on passive or explosive reactor armor can be fitted. It seems that these were the vehicles that took part in various international operations. At number 3 is Maneuver Combat Vehicle MCV. It is designed by Japan's state-owned Technical Research and Development Institute. Development commenced in 2008 and this fire support vehicle was first publicly revealed in 2013. The Japanese MCV is armed with a 105mm rifled gun and it is compatible with all standard NATO 105mm ammunition. Around 40 rounds are carried for the main gun and around 15 rounds are stored in the turret bustle and are ready to use. The MCV is fitted with a modern fire control system with the latest generation optics. This vehicle has a hunter-killer engagement capability. Secondary armament consists of a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun and a roof-mounted 12.7mm machine gun. This fire support vehicle is relatively light and it is likely to have a steel armor hull. It seems that the front arc withstands hits from 35mm or even 40mm guns. Damage add-on armor modules can be easily replaced in field conditions. At number 2 is Centauro B1 with 120mm gun. The Italian Centauro with a 120mm gun is an upgunned version of the original Centauro B1. This fire support vehicle is fitted with an Autumn Lara turret armed with a 120mm L45 smoothbore gun. 
This firing support vehicle fires APF SDS, multi roll, and other types of ammunition. The 120mm round penetrates 600mm of rolled homogeneous steel armor at a range of 3,000 meters. The gun is loaded manually. Around 40 rounds are carried by the vehicle and around 12 rounds of them are stored in the turret and are ready to use. This fire support vehicle has got a modern fire control system and it has a hunter-killer engagement capability. Secondary armament consists of coaxial 7.62mm machine gun, also there are a roof-mounted 12.7mm and 7.62mm machine guns. The Centauro with the 120mm gun has a higher level of protection than the baseline Centauro with the 105mm gun. At number 1 is Centauro 2. It is a next-generation version of the previous Centauro with the 120mm gun. The Centauri II is intended to carry out tactical reconnaissance, fire support of combat units and territorial defense tasks. It can escort convoys and can be used for road patrol missions. This fire support vehicle is armed with a more powerful 120mm high-pressure gun. It is compatible with all standard NATO 120mm tank ammunition. The gun is fed by an automatic loading system and this fire support vehicle uses APF-SDS, multi-roll and other munitions. The 120mm APF-SDS rounds penetrate 600mm of rolled homogeneous steel armor at a range of 3000 meters. This fire support vehicle has got a modern fire control system and the latest generation optics. It has a hunter-killer engagement capability. The commander uses a panoramic sight to search for targets and once the target is selected, the gun is laid on to the target automatically and the gunner completes all the aiming and firing process. During that time, the commander looks for the next target. Such hunter-killer engagement method is present on all modern main battle tanks. It allows to acquire and engage targets faster. And that's it guys for today, we hope you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to join our family by hitting that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you won't miss out on any of our new videos. Thank you so much for viewing in, we'll see you next time, bye bye.